Hey, how's it guys? In this tutorial, we are going to create a Python program to copy a YouTube playlist to another playlist. Alright, so on YouTube, the platform gives you the option to combine videos from a playlist to another playlist only when you are the owner of the playlist. So for example, uh, here I have a playlist called JJ Playlist, and it's the playlist I own. On the right hand side, I have another playlist called My Job is YouTube. And this playlist is owned by YouTube Creators channel. And if I click on the navigation menu, there's only this report playlist option available. First, if I go into my playlist, I have additional options to manage the playlist. If I want to add all these videos from uh, my job is YouTube playlist to my JJ playlist, then I need to uh, manually add the video to my playlist one by one. And assuming that a playlist has, let's say, 50 videos. Then you will have to merely add a video 50 times. So I decided not to create a Python program to address uh, the oversight to give you the ability to take any public playlist and add the videos to your own playlist. All right, so before we dive into the tutorial, let me just give you a demo on the Python program itself. All right, so this is the uh, program that we're going to write. And the Python code is embedded to this uh, merge playlists module. And from this merge playlists module, I have a function called append to playlist. And this function takes three parameters, the YouTube API service instance, the playlist ID, where the uh, videos are coming from, and the target playlist ID, uh, where you want to append all the videos. All right, so if I run uh, this function, or this script, I should expect uh, these four videos from my job is YouTube playlist added to my JJ playlist. So here, let me go ahead and run the script. Oh, I need to activate my environment. All right, so the script is complete and it took about 2.1 seconds. Now if I refresh my playlist is uh, playlist. I now have these four videos from my job is YouTube playlist. And going forward, if I want to add uh, videos from a different playlist, I can simply run the same Python program with a different playlist ID. So that's the demo. Now let's dive into the tutorial. Before we dive into the tutorial, I'm going to assume that you have some experience uh, working with Google APIs. And there are a couple of things we'll be needing. The first one is the is this a Google.py module. And this is a utility module I wrote. And you can download the source code from the link in the description below. Inside this module, I create a function called create service function. This function will simplify the uh, process when we are dealing with different uh, Google APIs. All right, so here, uh, let me import the create service function from the Google module. And from typing, I'm going to import the list data type. All right, so to make this program to work, I'm going to create two functions. The first function is going to get all the videos from the playlist, uh, giving a playlist ID. And let's call this function get playlist videos. And this function takes a service object. And it's the Google API service object. Then we're going to provide a playlist ID. And this function is going to return a list. Inside this function, I'm going to insert my track set block. I want to print the error message. When we run into any exception, I want to exile the function. All right, so inside the try block, we are going to uh, use the playlists method or resource, actually. If we go to YouTube Data API documentation on the reference, then on the playlists items, we want to use the list method to return all the videos on the playlist. 
inside the try block, I'll set my max results to 50. Then I want to create an empty uh, list object. And I'll name the object items. Now from the service instance argument, I want to call the pre list items resource followed by the list method that execute. Inside the list method, I'm going to set the parts uh, property to contain details. The content details property is going to return a video's ID. They want to uh, specify the playlist ID. Next, we want to uh, set how many items we want to return per page. And I would like to set the number to maximum, which is uh, 50. Oh, I'll name uh, the output's response. All right, so just in case, if we have additional pages of uh, items we need to retrieve. So here, let's uh, extend the items list first. From response, we want to reference the items key. They want to check whether or not if next page token is available. And the key is going to be next page token. Now I'm going to insert while loop. While next page token is now none, they all basically make the same uh, API call. Except that uh, inside the while loop and inside the list method, we need to provide the page token. And that's going to be the uh, first function, which is going to give us all the videos on the playlist. Now I want to create another function to append the videos to our playlist. So let's call this function append to playlist. Inside this function, we're going to provide a service option. The uh, source playlist. And a target playlist. And the function output is going to be none because we're simply performing an operation uh, to perform something to our uh, YouTube playlist. All right, so inside this function, we're going to grab all the videos from the playlist. So we want to call the get playlist videos function. And I'll provide the service instance argument followed by the source playlist ID. Here I want to insert an if condition. If videos is empty, then I want to uh, excel the function. Actually, uh, I want to print message. Playlists, actually, uh, source playlists is empty. Otherwise, I'm going to grab all the video IDs from the videos object. I'm going to insert a, a loops comprehension. I'll say for video in videos. I want to convert uh, the array object as a tuple. And to grab the video ID, I want to reference the content details key followed by the video ID key. Now we can uh, append each video to our playlist. So here I'm going to insert a loop for video ID in video IDs. Before we append a video to a playlist, 
we need to know uh, how much quota does the operation cost. If we go to U2 Data API quota calculators page, under playlist items uh, resource for the insert method, it's going to cost you 50 units of quota uh, per API code. And each day we have 10,000 units available that we can use. So that means every day we can only uh, insert or append 200 videos. So just keep that in mind. All right, so let's go back. To add a video to a playlist, we need to provide a request body uh, JSON representation. So inside the request body, we need to uh, specify the snippers uh, detail. We need to uh, specify which playlist we want to add the videos to. And it's going to be coming from target playlist. Then we need to provide a resource ID object. And we need to uh, specify the video type to the kind property. And it's going to be YouTube pound video followed by video ID. And here I'm going to print a message, adding video ID. And it's going to be the video ID. Oh, it should be this. Now we can make the API call. So from service instance, dot playlist items. Dot insert. Going to set the parts to snippet. And for the body, it's going to be coming from request body. And let's make this uh, request uppercase body. That's the queue. And once we finish adding all the videos, we're going to print a message. Let's do a process complete. Right, so that's going to be the two functions we need to create. Now let me insert my uh, main routine. And to uh, connect to the, the U2 API, we need to uh, provide our client file. The API name is going to be U2 API version. If you don't know where to get the API name or the API version, you can get the API name and the API version from the URL. So here's the API name followed by the API version. Then I need to provide the scopes. And for the scopes, it's going to be HTTPS www.googleapis.com slash A-U-T-H slash U2. And I can create my uh, service object using the create service function. And this will be client file, API name, API version, and scopes. All right, so here me uh, insert the append to playlist function. And let's call this uh, source playlist ID. Now I want to go back to the YouTube, my job is YouTube playlist. And from the URL, here's the playlist ID. Now I want to go back to my JJ playlist and I'll grab my uh, playlist ID. And let's name this as target playlist ID. Inside the append to playlist function, I'm going to uh, provide my service option. 
Fall by source playlist ID. Then is the target playlist ID. All right, so if I press F5 to run the script, I need to choose which account I need to use. I'm going to choose a MySer account. On this page, click on events, then click on this link to proceed. Now we need to grant permission to our Python program. Now I can close the tab. All right, so here I'm getting uh, the message. Source playlist is empty. So let's take a look. All right, so it looks like uh, somewhere along my script, my logic is invalid. So let's do some debugging. All right, so let's run this function first. And I'll mainly uh, create my service option. Oh, I forgot to import the libraries. All right, so here I'm getting a type error. Oh, I see. So here I forgot to provide my service option. Yes. Now let's name the output list for now. In W10, this is an empty list. All right, so. So I'm going to grab uh, this code block. And I'll put it right here. And I'll just merely run it. From the response object, I can see I have items returned. So that means uh, this statement is okay. Oh, I know why. So I forgot to return the items. All right, so let me try again. So I'll terminate this session and I'll press F5 to run the script. Okay, so this time I'm getting uh, the message, adding video ID followed by the video ID. Now if I go back to my JJ playlist and if I refresh the page, and I see I have four videos got added to my playlist. Now let's try a different playlist. Let me go to Tesla's channel. Playlists, and let's say I want to append all the videos from all the uh, popular videos playlists. And here's the playlist ID. And I'll go back to my script, and I'll update source playlist ID, and press F5 to run the script. Now I'll go back to my JJ playlist, refresh. And all the videos from Tesla's popular playlist are now added to my JJ playlist. All right, so this is going to be everything I'm going to share in this video. And hopefully you guys found this video useful. And as always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video.